What is up everyone? If you are watching this video, I'm assuming you're not new to the channel. So in that case, thank you for being here and for checking in. Um, if you are new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching, that's perhaps a little odd, but I mean, that's cool and welcome. Uh, I hope that you uh, take a chance to poke around the channel a little bit after this and thank you for being here all the same. But to the point, why haven't I posted a video in what amounts to about a year at this point? And first off, I didn't get arrested. <laughs> I am not in the military or anything. I didn't get sick. My family didn't get sick. Um, I'm good. They're good. We're all great. Uh, but that does bring me to my first point, and that is that I had a baby, everyone. My wife and I welcomed a baby boy at the end of March. He was a little premature. He surprised us by coming a little bit early. Um, but he is fat, and he is healthy, and he is happy, and we just love him to death. Um, he's the greatest thing that I could hope to do in life, and I'm sure he'll be out here holding a flashlight for me and getting mentally toughened up, we'll say, <laughs> uh, in no time. Um, but as you know, babies require a lot of care and time and attention. And I owed it to him and to my wife to be present and to be helpful. So that was number one. Number two, I have spent a lot of time and money uh, just acquiring parts. And while that's good in terms of content and projects, um, I kind of got stuck in this loop of, well, if I'm going to do this, then I might as well do that at the same time. And I really don't want to film this until that is done, etc, etc. And what ends up happening is at the end of the day, not making any content, and you just start to get so overwhelmed by all the junk, and I do mean junk, um, most of what's in my garage came from a junkyard or a wrecked vehicle or something. Um, but just being overwhelmed nonetheless and not knowing where to start. Which brings me to the last and biggest reason and that is just being unmotivated and that has nothing to do with any of my viewers or with the channel itself but just a mindset and a headspace and that's ultimately why I am wanting to make this video. Um, I have ADD and Sometimes that just means you zone out when people are talking to you or you forget little things. Um, other times though, it means you're very anxious and depressed. And even the things that you love to do don't seem appealing because you're so overwhelmed with every other aspect of your life and you just don't know where to start and you actually can't focus long enough to just simply start and make a dent in something. Uh, when you have ADD like this, it's very difficult to just look at a long to-do list and just take small bites to whittle it down. Um, you kind of look at it with this all or nothing mentality to where you think to yourself, okay, if I don't do all of this today, I'm a failure. And of course, that's an unrealistic practice to have on yourself. Um, so what ends up happening is you get nothing done because you can't focus long enough to simply start and then at the end of the day when you look back and you don't have anything to show for it you just feel even worse and it just just goes downhill from there it's just a vis vicious cycle um, the other part of that was that I was in a job where I really wasn't happy and it paid the bills fine and it gave me industry experience so I'm thankful for that um, but I just did not like being there and that spilled into other aspects of my life and so it affected my mood even whenever I was off and at home um, and that just kind of helped to contribute to this paralysis that I just described. The good news is I have started a medication that seems to really help as long as I uh, remember to take it. Um, and I've started a new job, which is better in every way, measurable and not. Um, and I was also able to attend SEMA this year as part of a kind of birthday celebration. And um, on top of just being a really great experience, um, it reinvigorated me, so to speak, to get back into the channel. Um, so 
I saw a lot of really cool builds, of course, but then I also got to um, meet a few YouTubers, and I was able to meet and speak with Tavarish and Jared Pink from Wrench Every Day and Kyle Wade from Boosted Boys. And all of them were really nice, really helpful, um, just very genuine guys. Uh, what you see is what you get with their channels. Um, but I did miss Chris from B is for Build, even though I practically camped out by his car. Um, but that's beside the point. The point is that that all got me motivated again. And although I never actually stopped working on the channel, or doing things behind the scenes I haven't put anything out to demonstrate that and so I have several videos that are in progress currently um, I've got one dropping tomorrow so keep an eye out for that um, I'm also working on a merch line and getting a few sponsorships and partnerships underway so that will be exciting to uh, watch unfold as well um, but I just wanted to give this little update to offer an explanation, but then mostly just to kind of speak to some of you guys that maybe are going through something similar, that um, it's okay, and it's okay to need help, and it's okay to admit that something's off. Um, just lean on who you can for support. Um, don't kid yourself, and um, just take care of yourself at the end of the day so um, that's what I'm trying to do um, hopefully this was helpful to somebody to hear and let me know in the comments as well if, if you know if you've gone through something like that if you're going through something like that what has been helpful because um, I don't have it figured out you know I'm just doing better but anyway thank you for being here thank you for watching I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one